Look at the prizes. The, oh, double what is conviction and then a Tinker Tink and a Tinker Ton, okay. Oh my god. Oh, and Iron Hands and a 1 1 barrel prize for Arta as well. That's actually no, that's really, really awkward. That is, that is uncomfortable. I don't like that at all. No, oh, neither do it I. It doesn't feel good. Not one bit, but here we go. Starting off the game. One Pokemon aside, as we usually see, and we're kicking it off with a Dunsparce in the active Greninja, and we're starting. Okay, with I'm, some money. I'm already seeing this, I'm already loving it. Dunsparce, of course, it makes so much sense. It see, really does. Like, it really does. So, yeah, we have a chance to look at the list now. So, Dunsparce must be one of the main draw engines here. We have seen this uh, engine used to great success in Roaring Moon decks mm -hmm. in the past, of course. That uh, Dunsparce involves into Dun Dunsparce, which lets you draw three cards and then it shuffles itself into the deck. Yep. And again, you can use multiple of them on a turn. So, it just, it just feels like a win all round. Yes, it really does. Uh, now, first deck search happening now for us. Simone. I'm going to look through the, the deck to see what is available. There's uh, plenty of. Uh, Plenty of Tinker Tinks to search for there. Just find the first one. And uh, for the rest of the hand, there's a double turbo and another nest ball. And the Dunce Pass is also ready to go in hand already. So has the means to get some draw going already very early on. Really great start from Simone. Really, really strong start. Getting lots of Pokemon down, immediately filling the bench. You really can't go wrong, especially with that Dunsparce engine. I feel like it is most strongly used when you're able to utilize more than one on a turn when you need those larger hand numbers. But you could you could choose to hold detonating the ability <laughs> that is for true, when yeah. you need it. So you could set up multiple to Dunsparce and then just take the extra cards when you need them. Yeah, just uh, hold it there. And of course, because it kind of works as a pivot in and of itself, like the, the Dunsparce yes. has a very high retreat cost, but if, when, if it just goes into the deck, then if it's in the active, you can put Whatever you want up on the bench. Solved, right? Yes. Absolutely problem solved. Love to see that innovation. A great engine. And, and I wonder whether this will continue to popularize that engine as a consideration for other decks. Because like you said, I think we've only really seen it in Roaring Moon before. But now, this is a fantastic idea. Yes, it really, really is. Uh, so, pretty, pretty okay start from someone. Only was able to get down one Tinker Tink, unfortunately. But now it's over to Arthur. He starts off with a Buddy Buddy Puffin. Definitely going to be happy to start with that. Buddy Buddy Puffin is always our greatest fan at the beginning of a game. We are not upset with that at all. Now, to be able to have everything exactly kind of when they want it. Yeah. So making sure that they're able to sequence their turn with the prize cards in mind. We know that there's a Bidoof and a Barrel prized. That is not fun. <laughs> and especially with quite a few low HP Pokemon on the board right now, knowing that Iron Hands also can't be utilized feels bad. Yeah, so yeah it's uh, definitely a rough spot to be in as uh, Arta does do that check through. Now, just whilst Arta's doing uh, the setup here, I want to draw attention to Tinkerton again, just to like go through. We have the list now in front of us. There is some very, very interesting stuff on in here. You are absolutely right to, to call out the potential to use the non-EX Tinkerton that's yeah, in there in two copies. There we go. Um, the Radiant, okay. Uh, do you have listen? Oh, I was going to say, can you guess uh, what uh, the Radiant Pokemon of choice is, but you don't need to. It's there in front of you as well. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Radiant Jirachi. <laughs> you know what? It's actually one of my favorite Radiants. Really? I love it. It's so fun. It is very silly, don't get me wrong, but if you're in a bit of a, of a bind <laughs> and it does get KO'd, being able to search the deck for two of any card is... Is it two or three? I, I, honestly? I'm pretty sure it's three. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Radiant Jirachi is absolutely mad. But like half <laughs> anyone has managed to make use of it, I would say, at there this point. There have been a few highlight reel moments on stream where like, we, we've had a Doom, a Doom Desire double heads knockout oh. and they were to sort of save the day. That's uh, been a, a highlight of some previous streams for sure, but uh, not been the most popular choice of Radiant Pokemon in uh, for sure. You're right, it is three cards. Yeah. And yes, on the Astral Misfortune, flip two coins if both of them are heads. Your opponent's active Pokemon is immediately KO'd. Yes, wow. So, if you're Arta right now, you're seeing your opponent in front of you. You're seeing a, a Dunsparce and a, and a Tinker Tink. What's going through your head? Honestly, <laughs> I mean, I think at that point it's pretty clear what's going on. But... But I, d I think you're still. I think you're still in the park of not having an absolute clue 
what is going on? Yeah, like, sure, you, you know that it's a card that exists. Yeah, you have maybe some rough idea of what it does, but you're 4-0, and you're up against something that there's no way that this would have been in your testing program if you're like trying out, I think, like you said, the bingo card. Oh, what am I expecting in Bologna? Oh, yeah, Tinkerton. That's going to be top of the list. Yeah, and, and, in, and encountering it in round five. Yes. I think that really stands out to me. I think it's not what you start to expect. You start to expect the usual suspects by round five. You're thinking, right, there's lots of Charizard here, so I'm probably going into another Charizard. Chen Pao loves the Charizards. So I imagine that's how Art has been doing so fabulously well so far, is hitting all those decks that Chen Pao loves to eat up. Yes. But I wonder if he remembers what Tinker Tongue can do. Yeah. Also, I did slightly misspeak earlier. It's not the Tinker, it's not Tinker Tink, it's a Tinker Tough, actually, in the prize cards there at the top. It's, it's the, the stage one. Ah. It does play a one-off copy of that. So all the Tinker Tinks are ready to access, as we do see another one actually does go down there. Uh, and the Manaphy going down too, that's very, very important because of Arthur's start. You know, Arthur has the Radiant Greninja ready to go. You definitely don't want to get both of your Tinker Tinks or both of your Dunce Passes KO'd. No, Moonlight Shuriken would absolutely make mincemeat of those poor Tinks. So it certainly isn't worth the risk. Manaphy is a necessity as with any deck where your Pokemon need to evolve, especially the Dunsparce, right? Because we have multiple on the board, don't necessarily want to activate the Dunsparce ability the moment it evolves. Sometimes we want to leave that and allow for a larger hand later to take a larger KO. Early in the game, is it necessary? Only if we're struggling to set up. And speaking of, here's there our it first is. to Dunsparce. Dunsparce drawing three cards and then running away back into the deck. Yeah, I guess such a phenomenal draw engine. I'm almost, uh, I'm surprised that it has a team experimentation in more things than it already has. Kind of exactly like you were saying earlier, it seems like this card is, even with the amount of play there and success that it has seen, it feels, still feels like Runaway Draw has so much untapped potential. It really does. And I've been waiting so long on a Dunsparce evolution. I love to see the Dunsparce coming into play right here, digging its way back into the deck, running away so that it cannot be endangered anymore. Being able to play another Buddy Buddy Pop in for another little tink on the bench. We've got three now, a Manaphy, and two more Dunsparce in play. I just feel like this board state is really strong right now. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong. I'm not the Tinkerton expert, but it's feeling pretty good to me. Yeah, I, I would completely agree. Now, it's going to be an interesting matter of, Ooh. like, can you actually dig for the KO this turn? The, the hand looks okay, but I'm not sure if it's quite there enough yet. So was that Cypher Maniac that was just played? I, th I believe yeah, 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 it, it, was. Like it. Yeah, yeah. it was. So they're just deciding which two cards are going to go to the top. I saw an Arizu being contemplated, and I really love that for this. This deck having so many evolutions, Arizu being able to go and get three uh, feels uh, great. Again, a card that I would have, you would have never expected to see play. Oh, but unfortunately, just had to set up for next turn, so going to be a mm. retreat into the Tinker Tink and pass. I honestly don't mind that too much right now. I kind of feel like it is that deck that takes its time and pounces later. Yeah, and with the Manaphy as well, like, you you're safe unless uh, you know Arthur can put together a canceling clone shenanigans turn. And I don't, I don't. Okay, there is a canceling clone in the list, so that would be like the one thing that Simone has to watch out for. But uh, he's kind of done all he can now. So let's see what goes on. Oh, a Pokestop! Oh, that was a lovely Pokestop too. Yeah, one energy found that goes to the discard, but then a super odd and a superior energy retrieval. Pretty ideal, I would say. Honestly, I don't think it could be a whole lot better other than the three items. But having access to those water energy because they're in the discard pile and you have superior energy retrieval right now. I don't dislike that. I think what I do dislike is the lack of draw in Arthur's hand right now. I don't believe I saw an Irida. I don't think there's... Oh, no, 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 no there I'm it not... is. Whoa, <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Hiding away, but, okay, the, but the Irida in hand does like change a lot because now this means you can get the red candy back Scalibur. You had the superior energy retrieval ready to go in hand already, so you can you know, use that to get some energy back. Although I don't know if there's enough in the discard to actually pull off an attack here. I believe there's two, which okay. isn't going to be enough for Greninja. Would be enough for Chen Pao, but not to also retreat the Greninja. So yeah. I think there's a bit of work that still needs doing, yeah. which again is going to be some of that masterful sequencing that we spoke about a lot today, because the Chen Pao is... Chen Pao can draw cards. But we've got one BRL hiding away in the prize cards. So can we do it with the current setup? Is Greninja 
alone going to be enough? Yeah. Are so, we going to be able to find the second Bieberel in time? Yeah. So I guess what you can do is, although it doesn't feel ideal, you can superior energy retrieval just to get two energy back. And then you can, you know, use one to attach the retreat. You can even conceal cards the other one away. And then you can bring up the Chen Pao, use Shivery Shield to get two, and then you're good to go. Exactly. Like, I, I honestly couldn't think of much better. It's a shame. It's always a shame not to use a superior energy retrieval for not its full yeah, effect. Yeah, yeah, to get to, to, but sometimes it just needs a must, right? You just need the energy then and there, so even if you're not getting the full four, you're still getting the, making the best turn possible by doing that, so. There we go for a shivery chill, so we're certainly getting some more. The Baxcalibur in play with the lovely League stamp promo there. Love to see it. Yeah, the the the, uh, the the league uh, prize packs have been such a like great uh, addition to like the locals uh, scene, right? And the fact that you can you know you go to the league and get like, these uh, wonderful like there's so many playable cards in those packs as well, and they have the lovely play, play Pokemon stamp on. Definitely worth going to your local league for. Oh, a thousand percent, they're great and like you say, full of playable cards, including these lovely packs, Caliber. And now that we can finally super cold, how much energy is going? is going on. I think concealed cards, it's like, yeah, gonna conceal cards first. Again, that kind of gives us more on our superior energy retrieval if we end up using it. Pokestop's already used this turn. Yeah. Two energy currently, that is enough to take a KO. They could just hold resources. Yeah, I think it, it's just, it's kind of nice uh, for Artur and that a Tinker Tink does have 60 HP, so you can attach both, but then you only need to discard one to take the knockout of Hailblade. So first prize of the game goes to Artur. We like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. But we never know. Samo might have some crazy comeback mechanics. Going straight in, no hesitation. First to done, Sparse of the turn. Here we go. Drawing the cards from Cypher Maniac. I oh, like that. Oh, yes. So making sure that all of them got drawn because obviously you take the one for turn, but then the other card you put to the top kind of lingers there. Yeah. But being able to even possibly make that top card at a Dunsparce, draw it and then draw the other plus some, I like this. It's almost like he planned it that way. Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. <laughs> Oh, wow. Can't believe that. <laughs> Literally stacking the deck. No cheating, though. <laughs> this is perfectly legal plays, my people. Cypher Maniacs code breaking, allowing you to put two cards to the top there. And the Arizu, which yes. we knew was in the top. We, we saw that with Cypher Maniacs code breaking, but I still love it. Great card, allowing you to get three evolution Pokemon and put them in your hand. Is this the first time we've seen an Arizu played on any like, officially streamed game ever? I think it might be. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit Arizu biased because I used to play a lot of uh, Zorobox. Oh, that makes sense. You play yeah. a lot of Arizu. So I've, I've got very used to her uh, being in deck, so I might not have... Uh, not might not have calculated or, or remembered, but look at that hand already. Like when you're looking at how many cards are in hand, that's already pretty good. And they've not even started on the main kind of tinker ton line yet. Going again! Whoa! Dig it away! Um, it is important to note with Arizu, as it says that you can't grab any rule box Pokemon with it. So you can't grab the Tinkerton EX, for example, but you can grab the Dunsparce, you can grab the you know, Tinker Tough, you can grab the non-EX Tinkerton. There's still so much you can search with it. So, so much. And we're getting closer and closer. Here we go. So I didn't see, I think we have a rare candy in hand. There it is! The first beautiful, oh my lord, Tinkerton illustration rare. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Yeah, then with that big hammer attack. Now it's just going to be a matter of can Simone build up the hand to the point where there's enough to take the kill on this champion? I think it already is. It only needs to be seven cards, and they've got double turbo energy. We do have to minus 20 for that. So eight would need to be it, and I believe yeah, yeah, that's that, eight cards. Yeah, that, that's perfect. That's a KO. 240 minus 20, 220. That's the exact Not amount. <laughs> Absolutely perfect numbers. The Dunsparce digging our way to victory on that big KO. Big KO from Big Hammer. My goodness, there's something we never thought we'd announce in our casting <laughs> careers. Oh, but I'm it's so just pleased. happened. I'm so pleased. Arizu is great. As long as we have evolution Pokemon with no rule boxes, we are a happy, happy crew. So Chen Pao comes in. Shivery chilling. Just shiver me timbers yes so like we were talking about earlier there is the one thing that does go in Arto's favor this is a stage two ex that is a little bit easier to KO than most due to the 300 hp you only need five energy instead of what would usually be six to take the knockout so Arto should be able to get it here but then if simone can just trade blow for blow Arto's on five prize cards right now so going down to three it'll be you know the prize mapping will go two one zero win How 
have you seen what a spec Simone is playing? Oh, that's a very good question. Let's nah, have a look. I, think, I think we should guess. If you haven't looked, uh, I think uh, we should guess. Because uh, I, I think Cape might be in this. Is it, I think it's got to be Cape or Prime Catcher. I think but, it's got to be Cape or Prime Catcher, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like a Cape would be nice. Yeah. 400 HP has a nice ring to it. Yeah, let me, let, let's uh, let's have a have a little look here. Uh, it's We've got the, the list. It is, in fact, what should be something completely different? It is the Prime Catcher. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. still a fantastic card. Yeah. And yeah, again, great because if you're having to rely on energy, uh, sorry, cards in hand, then it is it is useful to be able to bring something up with a bit lower HP that you might be able to take a KO on. It's one of those things where when Prime Catcher first came out, we were talking about how it always became the, the default A spec, right? It's that like if you're yeah. not sure what else to play, just play that. And it's a very, very good reason why. <laughs> oh yeah, it is absolutely fantastic. Especially for a potentially rogue pick. I think that works really well. Yeah, because it's very much like a power card in that regard, isn't it? So. And there we go. As we said, feels fairly easy for Chen Pao at this stage, where all their resources are open. Taking that KO on that huge Tinkatani X with only five energy. Big pickup from the prizes as well. Arto did find that Iron Hands Ooh. EX, so can maybe use that to you know, steal a win if there can be some kind of two-hit combo where you finish off an EX with an Iron Hands. That could be a way to get back, but then that would have to happen over two turns. So let's see how it goes for now. Back on Simona, who needs to set up after you know his board getting cleared a little bit. Yes, money's now down to not as many. But oh, and it's fixed. Cool, buddy, buddy, pop in. <laughs> I love buddy, buddy, pop in so much. It just it feels bad to have such a big board and then going down to to quite quite few really and I think that's what always worried me about the Dunsparce as an engine is the potential of ending up with quite a small and and kind of dangerous board in that respect but yeah. we got the red candy straight into another tinker ton yeah uh, the the hand I do believe there is Ooh. is it eight currently in hand no it's a seven after playing that down but there's Dunsparce will refill things again and oh and how plays that oh, Luxway okay here we are Luxia reversal energy is lovely and a Roxanne this could turn the tables. Roxanne allowing Simone to get six cards after shuffling hand into deck, and Arta is going to be down to two. Yeah, this one is so impactful as well because we were talking about establishing the barrel earlier. Arta has not been able to do that, so mm -hmm. he has no way to draw out this Roxanne other than the Radiant Greninja. This Roxanne could be the pivotal point of this game. She could change everything. Is she going to come through? What are those two cards going to be for Arta? Hopefully we see a B barrel. Yeah. But on the other side of the field, Simone is there with the reversal energy in hand by the looks of it and a double... Wow, and a double turbo. Yeah, and he's able it. to draw three more cards. Is it ever going to stop? <laughs> it's uh, I, not anytime soon, but with that, Simone does have enough cards in hand to take knockout. So, you know, six cards, then you go up to nine, you play down the double turbo, that's eight. Uh, th th oh. That's a knockout again. Oh, I'm absolutely loving this. Chen Pao's fighting back in very true Chen Pao fashion. I don't know if it's going to be enough. I think that Roxanne might have sealed their fate. It depends what those two cards were. Is two going to be enough? Uh, it's oh, it's going to depend on what those are right now Simone is very much in control has the knockout ready to go can just bring up the oh, oh wait, hold on oh, this is my favorite okay oh, we're going for the Luxray attaching the reversal energy Luxray is a really fun um, kind of single prize attacker you can only play it directly without evolving when you're behind on prize cards so because Arthur went down to three prize cards it activated oh, all my goodness. of these cards there was a counter catcher in hand, so now, you, now the Roxanne's even stronger. <gasps> Uses to bring out the Bidoof, and now there's even harder for Arthur's draw out this Roxanne. He's making sure that the Roxanne sticks, yes. and I love that. It is almost like a little bit of control that we see it's, as our kind of overarching theme of this weekend. It, it, <laughs> it's something that is very, very important. And, and oh, oh, Arthur drew the ultimate for turn. <gasps> So Ooh, it would doing have been that, possible. and this is what so many of the top players are aware of this. Sometimes it is very easy to get lost in thinking just about the prize map, thinking, you know, I want to get the knockouts to win. But sometimes it's more important to take less prizes, but to stop your opponent from getting back into the game. And Simona has done that beautifully oh, here. No! The poker stop, the Bibarel, and a lightning energy in the discard pile. Now we've got two uh, super rod in hand, and that's very not helpful. Yeah, yeah Arthur's hand is, is kind of dreadful, honestly. That's yeah. a, an ultra ball is like the, probably the best thing that he has. There's a yeah. super odd uh, from the Pokestop. You can use that to get back some resources, but like, there's nothing really that great for our tour to establish here. As far as I'm concerned, that Roxanne was a roaring success. Absolutely. Um, now, the interest, I suppose here, we, we can use Champao's ability to get two water energy we've just put back, and we
we can take a knockout on this Luxray. Yes. Is that going to be enough to um, make a move back into this game? So, yeah, two energy. You could also discard one with the Greninja if you wanted to conceal cards to try and find uh, some, some more stuff, but then you're potentially risking missing the knockout, which wouldn't mm -hmm. feel great. So definitely a, a tough one. Wait, I mean, Luxray can't attack anymore. No, no, that's true because uh, the reversal energy is, of course, no longer active with Simone and Artur now being even on prizes. I got to say, I really liked that combo because Simone allowed Artur to, to go ahead in the game and they used three cards simultaneously that all work only when you're behind on prize cards. They only let themselves go behind on one and then what? Luxray was able to come down, reversal and the counter catcher. Hold on, Amy. I, I just really something very important. Two energy is not enough to KO this Luxray. It has 150 HP, so with this 20 self damage, it's 130. <gasps> That'd be 10 short. You're right. Oh my gosh. You're absolutely right. We are still 10 short. I'll be honest with you, I forgot quite how kind of chunky <laughs> this Luxray is. Yeah, he, is not two, going, yeah. he is not going down without an absolute fight. 150. Yeah. So just uh, having just enough to survive a two energy hail blade after oh, this uh, no. the, the self damage. Wow. That is... That is damning. That really hurts. Mm -hmm. I feel like if Arthur was able to take a KO this turn, they still have the potential to turn it around. I'm not sure if they pass the turn here, whether they can. If Luxray just needs to retreat, tinker ton forward, attach double turbo, and, and it looks keep like, building that hand. Okay, the answer's gonna be Nest Ball for Iron Hands, the X. This is, this is also 10 short though. 120 plus 20 won't be enough to take the knockout either. Otherwise, that would be a pretty good turn. No, I mean, so we can attack. Ugh, no, don't run enough lightning energy. This is a difficult thing. As, like some people are playing arm press, like uh, being able to play um, more lightning energy to be yeah. able to utilize arm press might be in the future, but, but, but generally but, but, but it's even, not. But even so, in this deck, there's no way to accelerate lightning, so you'd have to manually attach twice anyway. Yep. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. No. I so, don't think we're going to see an attack for her. No, I think uh, Simone has played this absolutely beautifully, denying Artur the outs to try and find a way back into this game and just uh, forcing it. Yeah, Artur just passes! I was really hoping that wouldn't happen, but it, it's, it's looking not fantastic. If Simone can grab a two prize knockout here, I don't think there's much coming back from it, if I'm honest. Uh, well, I mean, Simone has it, right? The double turbo's in hand. He, all he has to do is just not play that many cards, and he can just retreat, and he's good to go. Pretty much, yeah. I suppose it's just making sure there's enough cards in hand. I can't quite count right from here. Um, I think there's not quite enough with wanting to play cards. This to Dunspass, I believe, puts us in range, though, and then it's just a retreat of the Luxray needed. Yeah, yeah, there might have been enough beforehand, but the Dun the Dun the Dunsparce definitely just solidifies it because you also want to play down more Dunsparce so you can do it again next turn. So you want to have enough in hand whilst also setting yourself up for next turn. That's very, very important. But yeah, I do believe uh, with this, Simone can bring out that Tinkertony X and there's going to be a KO with Big Hammer and then only one more prize for Simone to win with Tinkertony X in our feature match. That is insane. I never thought that we'd be featuring something so exciting. And I like this resource management of Tinkerton as well. Making sure that you are playing cards, because you have to, you yeah. need, you're right, you need to put those Dunsparce back down and keep the engine going. Otherwise, we'll just, you know, come to a standstill eventually. Our, our Dunsparce train will stop if we don't keep putting fuel into the fire. Yeah, oh, and there's the, the single prize Tinkerton coming down as well for even some more draw power, why not? I know, right? It just keeps going round and round. Honestly, I love this. I think it's fantastic. More draw power, the better. Being able to think to yourself, okay, I don't think I'm going to need another Tinkerton EX. So managing the single prize, I, I mean, it does have special hammer and we're using a lot of special energy here. So we can do 180 damage, which isn't, isn't awful. So I just don't think it's great into this matchup. It's not no. a number that feels relevant. Yeah, but, but gather materials, discard a card we hand draw free that builds up that hand advantage so you can do more damage with that big hammer and uh Wait, what was that? Oh, that's a great ball. Okay, so we're going to look at the top seven. Does find a Pokemon. There's a Dunsparce in there, but we played this Dunsparce this turn, so cannot be used. Um, I like playing them sideways like that <laughs> to indicate that this one cannot be used this turn. Yeah, they're very, very helpful for us, and also just so you're good uh, sportsmanship just to show that, you know, doing things the right way during the game. We're always lovely to see that. And 
Simone is going to be thinking about this very carefully. He wants to play cards, but like you were saying, AB, just strike that right balance between playing cards, but also making sure that you have enough for the KO. That is, he has done that masterfully. There are eight cards in the hand right now, so he can just retreat and take the KO to Tinkerton. Yeah, it is eight. If he plays any more now, he will deny himself the KO, so he can't do that. No, exactly. And then it's just seeing that one Tinkerton to the finish line, right? Because that's our main, that's at the moment, Simone is only attacker. The, yeah. Like, other than the Luxray, this is this is the only mild concern I have, is yeah. that they Ooh. only have two attackers on board right okay, now. Okay, yeah, Simone has not been a supporter yet, so you could go for a Mortis Conviction, then you could draw a few more cards, and there's also, oh, there's a boss's orders as well. Ooh. Ooh. Do you maybe consider going for the Backscalibur? I, if you feel like the Roxanne is still sticking, I think you absolutely go for the Backscalibur. Just, just deny more and more ways for Arthur to get back into the game. Well, Arthur had taken energy that wasn't attached. Yeah, yeah. Simone is aware that there is energy in the hand. That's true. So, but yeah, maybe this is just the best call. It, but, and, and it works out well for the prize map, too. So I think it's a really tough choice. Okay, but no, it does, Gone aggressive. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I was a fan of both choices, yeah. honestly. Yeah, it does decide <laughs> just to go for the KO. Two more prizes taken. Simone is one prize away from winning game one. Does Arthur have any kind of response? I, it doesn't look like it. Oh, oh. There's another Chen Pao. That's, that's a start. You need to get enough energy on this to KO the Tinkertony X. So who's got Tinkertons? Uh, who's rummaging around their binder right <laughs> now for their Tinkertons at home? I, I know I haven't got any, so I, I'm stuffed. Oh, <laughs> come on, Freya. Yeah, I, I know, <laughs> You've got I know. to keep the cute pink ones. <laughs> <laughs> too, too busy with my Lugia's uh, Zatus and uh, Coridons. But Zatu works on it. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, you're right as well! <laughs> I oh. thought this would be right in your ballpark. I, 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 I don't know what I'm thinking, honestly. I, 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 it's, uh, not on it. <laughs> That's okay, I'll forgive you. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm, I'm <laughs> <gonna> go <laughs> uh, so, uh, attach retreat into the Chen Pao. We'll be able to get two more energies now from the Shivery Chill. There is a cool combo you could do here. You can get the energies from the Shivery Chill. There is a Cypher Maniacs in hand, so mm. you can combine that with the Concealed cards to search for any two cards from the deck. It's just a matter of can Artur get just, you know, get to this KO from those two cards. I love that combination. i got to say it's one of my favorites right now. It really is. Using Cypher Maniac's code breaking, you search your deck, you put two cards at the top in any order that you'd like, and then you use concealed cards and Greninja your way into them by discarding an energy from hand and drawing the two cards you just put on top of the deck. So it's literally cheating with extra steps, but not really cheating because you're actually allowed to do it. Yeah. Cypher Maniac's been like, I'll let you. I'll let you stack your deck. Two cards, yeah. though. Two cards. Yeah. Uh, have you ever, uh, I'm guessing they probably are, but are you familiar with the concept of the golden rule of card games? I don't know. I am. You're going to have to teach me. So the golden rule of card game is uh, anything that you, a card says you can do supersedes the rules. So it's not cheating because mm. that is the golden rule. If the card says you can do it, even if the rules say you can't, the card says you can do it, you do it. That's I how it works. I love that. I love that. Oh, it feels Feels good. Feels good to be a rule breaker, non rule breaker. <laughs> oh. So that was, Ooh. I believe, a nest ball coming down to yeah, establish that Bidu. Very important. You're going to need that to carry you through with these last few turns. We saw how crucial it was that Simone carried the last Bidu before it could become a barrel. And now here comes the Cypher Maniac's code breaking. Oh. What two cards can a tour fetch here? What's going to be significant? Superior energy retrieval seems like a good start. I'm not going to lie. Nope, that sounds perfect. I'm, I don't know what else, honestly. Is it just going to be two superior energy retrieval, an earthen vessel? It depends how much energy is in deck versus discard. But I have a feeling most is in discard. It looks like we only have like one energy left in deck, which yeah. I don't think is worth earthen vesseling for. So. I wouldn't have thought so, no. No. And also, I think there's one energy in hand already because uh, yes. yeah, there, there's two. So, oh, at least, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so this is fine because then you can... Superior energy retrieval works for this turn. You can grab something else for next turn. Then after the superior, you have six in hand. Uh, well, five because it's got one for the concealed cards. Yep. So then you have five left. You can attach them to the Chen Pao. That's enough for the knockout. Jobs are good in. Happy days. Yeah. I like it. So, I like it a lot. Let's see it in action. Yep, concealed, concealed cards. cards. Finds... Oh! 
<gasps> yeah. Oh, well, what a surprise! <laughs> and funny enough, you did mention there's the Earthen Vessel as well. I did. It may be, it might maybe, you know, just to get that final energy out of the deck. I don't dislike it. Yeah, just uh, have it for thinning. later. Yeah, it's good thing. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting. There was a debate from our tour between that and the Eridor, I think, because that would be a great option for next turn as well. But I think in this instance, thinking that we'd rather just have the Earthen Vessel ready to go in the hand. So there it is. Five energy going onto the Chen Pao off of the, uh, from the Super Cold and Hail Blade for 300 damage. Takes Ooh. a knockout on the Tinker Tony X. I, I, I think this is where I worry, right? What is, what, what, what is Simone's next move? Uh, well, you just take a knockout, I guess. So there's, with, uh, what? with what? So, yeah, reversal energy's gone, so that's not an option. There's, oh, there's no Tinker Tink on the field, that's is there? That's my worry. Right. Yeah, okay. That's exactly it. The, there's currently no attacker on Simone's side of the board. We, I feel like we may have run out of steam in the train. Yeah, and I mean, that was... Um, I guess that was the one downside of establishing that Noni X Tinkerton, of course. It's a great support Pokemon, but there's no option to attack with it because the, the attack needs, uh, what is it, a Psychic and two colorless, so... One colorless, but you do extra damage if there is a special energy on the Pokemon. Okay, so, so I guess then the reversal energy makes even more sense, of course, because you can use it on Luxray, but also with this, but you can't use it if you're even on prizes. No, nope, and that's the thing. Arthur has made sure that they took that two prize knockout this turn so that those reversal energy are not working. They are disabled. They cannot do a thing. So this is where I worry. Only one prize card left in it, and I I think it's just going to be disruption. I think it's going to be disrupt and pray. I, I'm, I'm fearful. There is one other option that Simone could make use of tell me all about it Freya Radiant Jirachi <gasps> and pray <laughs> oh but the bench is full no, well I mean you can use the dance pass though right oh you're right so, and, and Dunsparce has free retreat. Yes. <gasps> Jirachi and so, Prey. So if you can find double turbo plus a way to... I believe the Radiant Jirachi was in the hand, so now it's been Iono to the bottom of the deck. Oh my goodness, could we... <laughs> I love that. Oh That's, my gosh. Uh, the the, uh, the art has been, been used great. already. Oh, this but, is fantastic. But, but yeah, it's not impossible, actually. It's I mean, not. I, 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 if maybe this is just your best option here. You're so right. You're so right. And then you, you, you gather materials, free cards. Are on. There's a Radiant Jirachi. Is there a double oh, turbo? is there a double turbo? I don't know. I don't know if there was one in hand. I really want there to be. There's the Dunsparce, and the active can still switch. Yeah, that's true. Um, is it time? Uh, yeah, the Dunsparce. Here we go. Okay, Rari three draw. more. One, one two, two, three. It didn't look like there was an no, energy, I didn't, No, I don't think I saw oh, it. Oh, no. So close to the... Uh, yeah, so far, there's no more card draw. Uh, I mean, it's a 25% out, but you got to hit it first, right? And it uh, looks like just Simone holding oh, a little bit short. Energy. No. Oh, oh. Certainly are worse combinations for Chen Pao in the price cards. But being able to assess that early on and know what your advantage and disadvantage in this game is, really helpful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just uh, trying to think through here. Given the amount of time left, is it possible for Simone to try and win this game quickly? This is one of the problems with Stage 2 decks. They tend to be comeback decks. They tend to win more slowly. And both of these decks in this in instance are Stage 2 decks. So you have to like play so fast if you want to actually finish out a full series. And given how long that game one went for, uh, Simone's back is definitely against the wall here. Yeah, and I think that's very much the problem. So we'll have to see if each player can play around that. I like this Buddy Parfin. I like this Buddy Parfin. Yeah. Fridgey bags and the last Bidoof. Yeah, and then, oh, there's an Iridor as well for good measure, so you can grab yourself another Buddy Parfin to set yourself up nicely. And you can also grab Ooh. that Radiant Greninja, of oh, course. Oh, I love it. But we're going for an Espool because I imagine we want an Iron Hands or a Chen Pao. Probably a Chen Pao at this stage, but I can see why Iron Hands would be tempting. Well, I mean, Iron Hands was something you didn't really get much of a chance to make use of in the last game. So being able to make use of it here could be very, very good because, you know, it's early on. There's still a lot of weaker things on the bench that you can, you know, pick off and uh, get two prizes from with Ampy very much, but yeah, maybe in the early turns you want to set up, you want to use do the Shivery Chill, so it makes sense to go for the Chen Pao first. And we're Shivery chilling. Game two. Let's go for it. Two more water energy out of the deck. Love that ability. So strong. I'll tell you what, I wish we have a Chen Pao a here at the back. It's been very warm uh, in Bologna oh, this weekend. It's been lovely, but lovely, uh, but warm. Yeah, compared to what we've been used to, it's uh, yeah, definitely been a bit of a shocker. <laughs> I could do with a Shivery Chill, that is absolutely <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Looking at this board state though, both a nice setup. Now we just need to keep it going and see who's going to pull forward in the end. Yes, it's 
there isn't that much that uh, Arthur can do here. Again, if you could take a turn one knockout somehow, that would be great, but this isn't the kind of deck that can do that. So all you're trying to do is get going. You have the concealed cards as well. You can set up your discard pile or that. Oh, there is another nest ball mm. as well. Mm. That could be very, very good for next turn. You have you have something ready to go to set up that Iron Hands EX, and then you could mm. have a very, very strong turn too. I really like it. I like how both of these decks feel similar in the way they play. The pace feels right. And so you really get that nail-biting game out of it. Yeah, you really do. The Dunsparce comes in, a runaway draw. Going to find three more cards. There's a rare candy already in hand, so going to want to Ooh. find a, either a Tinkerton or ideally a Tinkerton EX to start getting these knockouts. So you know, a turn two knockout on a uh, Chen Power would be fantastic. Oh, there's a good fight like as well. three rare candy in hand? It, it is. Oh, my goodness. All, all different artworks as well. <laughs> Oh, a Rizu. Here's a Rizu. Now, a Rizu cannot take Pokemon with rule boxes. Yes, that's very weird, important as we to know. Earlier. <laughs> so, we cannot take the Tinkerton EX, but we are able to take the Dunsparce, Luxray, and maybe maybe the Tinkerton. Oh, you, oh, no. oh, you think the, the Tinker Tough, maybe? We could be taking the Tinker Tough, but gone for another Dunn's Pass on this occasion. Fair dues, fair dues. So two, two Dunn's Pass and the Luxray Found. Can't put down the Luxray yet, of course. Both players still in six prizes, and no one is uh, behind yet. And also can still make use of the Artisan. So, yeah, that's not been used yet. And uh, just you know, goes for the Dunn's Pass straight away. Uh, and then yeah, okay, we go draw first and then shuffle. You don't want to do the, you don't want to do that the other way around. And then yeah, that gets uh, shuffled in. And then oh, oh the, the the combo right there. Just use the, the Dunn's Pass and then straight away use the Artisan to get the Dunn's Pass back. I love that <laughs> Artisan really is. Uh, more flexible than we give it credit for a lot of the time. I think it's a very underrated card. Uh, yeah, it does seem that way. I mean, in the decks that is used in, it is very good, of course. And in a matchup like this, your opponent can make use of it as well, of course, just to get you know, a cheeky fridgy backs here and there. But uh, the combo with the Dunsparce especially, we saw just a great effect in the Roaring Moon, the Dunsparce archetype, the combo of, yeah, just run away, draw, but then use the Artisan to get the Dunsparce back straight away. Oh, just fantastic. Poetry in motion. Real, a deck that has a real flow to it. <laughs> I was just about to say, no, you can't play the counter catcher. No one's taking a prize yet. <laughs> good thing that was a uh, court before anything uh, disastrous happened. Oh dear, not a good turn to have to kind of pass that along though. It does not feel good. Loads of cards in hand. Can't do much with them. No, not at all. That's uh, and, and um, now the vulnerability really does start because we were saying turn one it was totally fine. Turn two, mm. I think the unit is ready to go in hand. I think the Tinker Tink is going down. Honestly, this really is a Tinker tough match because, <laughs> like you said in the last game, unfortunately for Simone, this could spell disaster. I don't know if if necessarily he'd be able to come back from this. There's potential, but this could be a very pivotal point of change yeah, as for long the whole as, game. As long as Artur has rare candy back Scalibur, which I think he does, I think there's an Iridor in hand already. You hear the Tinker Tink, and Simone is so far behind. Yeah, yeah, there it is, there's the Iridor. And, oh, Pokestop as well. <laughs> That's... Yeah, I, I, every piece of the puzzle is coming together right now. Yeah, so Arto is going to probably run away with this game at this point. Oh, and a really good uh, um, poke stop as well. He's got oh. the iron bundle, but that's fine. You don't need it in this matchup. And then finds another buddy buddy puffin, which is good discard fodder, and finds that superior energy retrieval. There's so much energy in hand already as well. It just feels like it's going to keep going. Concealed cards, got an ultra ball off of that one, and possibly a boss's orders, I think. But uh, not that we need there, it right now. No, it's a Silene, it looks oh, like. Oh, it's a Silene. Oh, I love that. I, I think it's become more and more of a staple one of in Chen Pao decks. I think just because of the strength of getting back, not just Prime Catcher, but so many other resources, uh, it's uh, no, it's not too dissimilar to when Mew EX, uh, or Mew VMAX, rather, uh, played it in great numbers. So you get back for the Fusion Strike energies and all those other cards that are usually so hard to get back from the discard pile. Absolutely. I do not think you're wrong there. Not for a second. Oof, and the Biberel. This time is actually here. Yeah. I feel like everything is spelling Chen Pao here. It's a night and day difference. We saw that, you know, Artur was able to win, win game one, but it was a nail biter. It was super, super close. In this instance, not at all. Like, the difference in setup is stark, and Simone knows that uh, he is very much back against the wall right now. I think that's such a shame for a deck that's really come out of the woodworks here. Four and O oh on day one with what some might consider a rogue deck is spectacular no matter what happens in the next few minutes. But it does look like Chen Pao is going in for the KO. Yes. Oh, on this little guy. And then and then Simone has nothing to attack with. Yeah. Gosh, so 
here we go. The barrel coming in uh, with, the, with the industrious incisors. Five cards drawn now, as we do see. Yeah, there, there it is, the Hailblade. Kaming, the only Tinker Tink. And uh, is, is Simone just going to... Okay, I thought for a second Simone was just scooping up his cards, but uh, no, he's going to play this out, of course. You do have the Luxray. That's probably why Simone grabbed it last turn, knowing that back against the wall, you know, you had to have something here. So grabbing that Luxray, knowing he'd go behind, so he has something to uh, do a follow-up attack with. I love that. Luxray is a great choice here, and exactly why there are so many comeback mechanics in this deck with that beautiful, shiny Luxray art. Very, very pleased with that. Love to see it coming out on a day like this as well. Nice to see the cards... Uh, um, aren't forgotten. Luxray yeah. feels like it was a tech card in a lot of decks when going behind was becoming more of a kind of strategy that was imperative to a lot of decks. Yeah. Uh, is he able to find another another Tinker Tink? So that's uh, something uh, at least. So you have something to follow up with uh, after this. But even if you have a reversal energy, there's not really anything great to KO here. 180, mm. it's a good number, but it can't KO the Champau, it can't KO the Iron Hands EX. It's, uh, it's not a great position to be in. It's an awkward number for sure. It can take out a Backscalibur, but unless you've also got the pivoting for that, it's, it's not going to be very effective. I suppose doing some damage is better than doing no damage, but it, I can't imagine that feeling good, you know? It's just not a great number for this matchup. No, it's, uh, so it's uh, really, really not. And yeah, another KO now, uh, Lux Luxray comes in. Oh, wait, was that another KO? Or was that just... Uh, no, no, it was just a ret retreat, right? Or, no, I'm, wait, I'm confused. No, I don't believe it was a retreat. That's, uh, yeah, it was just another KO, yeah. Yeah, happened, yeah, happened, yeah. yeah. Nice and simple. Oh, no, but uh, you didn't take a prize, though. Okay, no, it's just uh, still Simone's turn. So yeah. it, was, it must have been a retreat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> We're out of confusion now. Yeah, yeah, a, a little bit. I, I, I think it's just one of those things where you're, you're wondering what Simone can really do. There's no, there's no reversal energy even in hand, so even we were talking no. about maybe taking like a marginal KO somewhere, but even I that's just... not really possible. Oh, I know, a runaway draw into the last oh, race. That's a what it was. Yeah, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. I, I was just trying to figure out what's, what they could do this turn to make the difference. They're lacking the correct energy to make any impactful move, and even then, it's tough. There we go. Okay, oh, yeah, catcher, so we okay. are going to counter catcher. Going uh, for the Bibarel, I love that. Yeah, I, mean, I, feel, I feel like it's pre at this point, it's probably the best thing to go for. It has yeah. to be, well, You've got to okay. go for the support. Uh, you, you, well, if you're stalling, if you if you had a reversal energy, you can actually kill the back Scalibur. That would have been okay. But if you're just trying to stall the time, then uh, yeah, Bibarel is the best option for sure. Yeah, even then, I don't know. Arda has a really large hand right now. And although that means that Bibarel can't draw the many cards, it also means they are likely to be able to evolve another Fridgey Bax into a back Scalibur. So I'm not sure. I don't know whether whether that's going to be enough or not. But the superior energy retrieval is a really nice one here. I, it's going to get the b rail out of the active minimum. Yeah. Yes, so the barrel now coming in. I mean, it doesn't even matter so much uh, what Artur does at this, at this point. I mean, you've got the energy to retreat, so that's fine. You can just take a KO on this. Uh, it's, I guess the ideal thing, if you can just uh, get if you do uh, the, the usual like crazy canceling cologne prime catcher combo, that would be great. But even then, you don't really even need it at this point. You're already so far ahead anyway. I don't know. It is only one prize card ahead. On board state alone, we are, we are far ahead. But I think that's the thing. It's not... It, it is, it's on the board state, but it's not necessarily in the prize cards. We've only got four minutes left on the clock, and that's what's got me worried. Yes, so we're worried as well. Like, so we're going to look through the discard, just to, so just to make sure that it, it's very important. This is something that we talked about in Stockholm a lot. You want to make sure that even when you're in a very leading and commanding position, you want to make sure that you don't let go of that. You want to close all avenues for your opponent to try and make a comeback. So it's going to be very, very important for Arto to do that, and that's why he's checking through the resources, even when he is in this leading position. Yeah, it is a commanding position. I'm not sure we're going to finish up our game, which would, which would leave Arta as the, as the victor, even if we don't finish up. So I'm not sure how far we're going to get along with that. But they go for the KO, nice and simple, not overextending, not using up too many resources, and I respect it. Yes, I respect it too. So two, two prizes now to take, and only three minutes left on the clock, so it's going to be very hard to sort of see Simone for a way to take six prizes, especially given he's so far behind, but this is a good start. It's Red a great into start. Into X. Here we go, with a massive hand. I think if they just start swinging that hammer now, they might be able to catch up. Yeah. 
this is just a big hammer take a KO. The hand is very big because, I mean, Simone hasn't done much, so there's not been a chance to play many cards, and uh, especially now can build up the hand even more with this uh, Gather Materials Tinkerton. Uh, yeah. three, three more cards there. They're going to need to make an attack as soon as possible yeah. to be able to kind of play the clock a little bit and make sure they're going to physically be able to take enough prize cards to pull out a win here because realistically, Arta is playing not to lose at this point. They don't necessarily need to win. No, 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 not at all. It, it's just, as long as you know, Arta doesn't you know, somehow lose six prizes in the next three minutes, he will win this match. He won game one and game two won't have finished. Yeah, honestly, I'm so pleased and... Oh, it's, it's crazy, really. If, if they do manage to start using Big Hammer fast enough, we might see an end to this. We might be able to see this match close out because the prize cards will allow it on both sides at that point. As long as Arta does play enough to prize Pokemon, that's going to be why I say they might be playing not to lose because if Arta decides, actually, I'm not going to put... When time gets called, if they choose not to put any more two prize Pokemon in play... There's a potential that somebody won't be able to catch up. But that is scuppered as the Chempow goes down once again. So I feel like this game is still up in the air. I feel like anyone can still win. Anyone, I believe, can still get this. Yes. Super Rod coming in now and just trying to get the KO on this uh, Tinkerton EX. Do, I think I think you do have enough energy at this point to do it. You can uh, you've got the Iridus, you've got the Spirit Energy Retrieval. You can get the extra energy you needed off the Shivery Chill. That will be the the, the the amount needed. So yeah, Arto might actually just be able to win this game even you know, with the amount of time left. Honestly, I think either of them can at this yeah. point. As long as when we start turns, Simone has the opportunity to have two turns. I think we're going to be a okay. Yes, yeah, I think so as well because Tinkerton is going to be able to take two knockouts. We have the little baby Tink on the bench. We'll be able to rare candy as long as we've got everything in hand. And there's two Dunsparce on the bench. If those Dunsparce and other card drawing, including other materials, allows somebody to draw enough cards to get into just another Tinkerton EX, they might be able to bring this back. Otherwise, it's a Chen Pao game, as Chen Pao just is so consistent right now. Yes, so finding the four energy there from, from the Spirit Energy Retrieval, so we'll be able to use one of those to retreat, and then, yeah, you just uh, go into the Chen Pao EX, uh, find the extra energy needed from the Shivery Chill, and then go for it. Yeah, so there we go. There's straight in with the Shivery Chill, checking through the deck. Two water energy, nice and easy peasy. Go ahead and shuffle round. It's like clockwork when you get to this stage of Chen Pao. That's why I say it's just consistent. We know, what's, we know what we need to do, just need to execute it with perfection. Use that synergy, use that timing, use those abilities in the perfect selection. I think we're going to have a bit of a match on our hands because time has now been called yes. in Arthur's turn. So they're going to be turn zero. So Simone will get two turns. Yeah, so this two more, two more. is possible for yeah. either of them to win. Yeah, yeah, it is. We're only uh, three more turns. So we have you know, one, one to, uh, this is turn zero for Arthur. So we have one, two, and three. And both of these players have enough uh, you know, turns to be able to you know, try and finish things off. So with the two, it needs to be two two prize knockouts from Simone to win. And Arthur needs to take a two prize knockout to win on his side. In theory, Simone could deny Artur the win here by not putting it down to two prizer, but then if he doesn't, if he does that, he can't win himself. So he kind of has to take the gamble at this point. Yeah, it is all or nothing. They have to go for it now. This is the moment for Tinkerton. Yes. <laughs> can it bring it back? Is it enough of a comeback deck that it can do this? I, I mean, we'll have to like, see it here. There's only one way to find out. The reversal energy is there on the... Oh, wait, hold on. Is this enough for the KO here with the reversal energy on the Tinkerton? I don't believe so. No, because no. well, how, how much did how much does he have to do? Hundred and eighty. Hundred and eighty. Yeah, no, it's not gonna be enough. No, and unfortunately, if they don't take a KO on this turn exactly, well, a two prize KO specifically. A yes, specifically yeah, yeah. a two prize KO as well. Then it is game over, unfortunately, for us on the Tinker Ton train. Yes, uh, there's the there's the uh, Tinker, Tinker Tough. Tough coming down, but but I mean. With that, then it's kind of it's kind of over, isn't it? Like yeah. I don't want to say like over, over, but then there's no way to get a two points. Look at this. Gather materials, putting away the Jirachi. 
drawing more cards. I think unfortunately we've just stopped short of the station again. And it's just that last little bit. It feels like the deck is so close to being so fantastic against Chen Pao here, but we're just struggling to tie up the loose end at the very end of the game. Yeah, so just, just a little bit unfortunate for Tinker Tinkerton, but such a great deck to have on stream. And we, especially in game one, we really saw just how much of a powerhouse uh, you know, it could be. Oh, there is a boss orders coming in. Ooh. Is it going to be into the barrel again? It's just not going to be enough. No. Not going to be able to take enough prize cards in time. They're going to take a KO on the BRL, but after equally, even if they can, they might be able to win, but regardless, they might have this on time alone, having one game won. Yeah. So it looks like it's going to be a Chen Pao victory unless Simone has more. If the Simone has more tricks up their sleeve, then maybe we'll be okay, but I just don't think, I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. And they, they're going to continue to play this out, but yeah, I don't think, just looking through the deck list, I don't think there's any way for Simone to take free prizes in one turn, so... <laughs> Uh, I, I guess at least by doing this, like Simone denies Artur the win for this game, but if he can't win the game himself, it doesn't matter because Artur won game one, so he's going to win the match. That's how it goes in the best of three. Yep. And honestly, I like best of three. Yes. It is it is my favorite. I absolutely love watching decks be able to have that redemption arc. It would have been great to have seen it here, but unfortunately, Tinkerton is falling just a little bit short of the wire. Looks like Chen Pao is going to be running away with this through the snow. Yes, putting the shivery chill on the on the Tinkertons of Simone, but things are finishing off here. It's a, it's a little bit hard to say because we kind of we we, we know sort of uh, what's going on, and we know there's like kind of like you know no way to uh, for I mean, the players to really win, but uh, yeah. Hmm. And yeah, unfortunately, it just um, comes down to that making use of time well and making sure that. You're kind of keeping an eye on the clock as well. We've got 50 minutes to do a best of three. And uh, like we can see here, sometimes it could be a struggle just to get two games out of that time limit, especially when decks are doing a lot, drawing cards, um, you know, using pokey stops and then Biberels and energy retrievals. There's so much going on and it's beautiful to see poetry in motion. However, <laughs> sometimes <Pokestop. laughs> it can mean, oh, what a three for three on the pokey stop. Yeah. I'd love to see that. I mean, can... Wait, hold on. I just realized there is actually a way for Artur to win this turn. If you, if you can do a Radiant with Ninja double knockout, that's that still on the, on the table. He doesn't need to to win the match, but if he wants to go out in style, he can then do it. Then he can. <laughs> we can go for a 2-0. <laughs> why not? That is good practice, I think, away. Yes. And I think that's why these players are playing this match out. We can very much see that there's a line here that, you know, that Artur really is probably going to take the crown. I can't see a situation where that's not the truth. However, we are here to play a fantastically fun game of Pokemon trading cards yes. and whether you kind of think you've won or lost should be left up until the very last moment because you never know what's going to happen yeah yeah you never do so yeah irida coming in i guess you can get down a second back scalper like why not just playing it all out at this point they're having fun throwing slapping down some pokemon cards there's a superior energy retrieval you can discard or whatever at this point you don't you, you actually you have one half of the combo Arthur does have the prime catcher but doesn't have the cancelling cologne <laughs> unfortunately That's the difficult part but if they can piece this combo together there is potential that like you say they can win this turn and that would be fantastic if they don't they probably win anyway yeah. but I think testing your skills as a trainer and going for it anyway I think really is a testament but to our I, uh, talented I, I, It is. I think the only problem is I'm not sure if you have many ways to like dig for it at this point. So I think yeah, I'll start recognizing that and saying, you know what, I'll just take the KO. I'll just I take know, the one. Yeah, I, I know I've got this unlock. Last turn of time for Simone. What does he have? No, it not is much. a Tinker Tough. Oh, there, there's that pretty oh, Tinker X again. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're, we're grooving. We're yes, moving. We are. Looks like we might just be down to one price card each, unfortunately. <laughs> but you know what? Let's play it out until the end because we can. Let's go for it. Going for the Buddy Buddy Pop and checking deck. So, okay, so there's a Psychic Energy and there's loads of energy left in deck. You can see why it was missed earlier because it's just all hanging out in there. <laughs> it's like... It's, it's all there ready, waiting to be used and you can fill up the hand. Maybe we can see, you know, a PTCG lifestyle just get the hand as big as possible to do a bunch of damage to a Chen Pao and then you know, end the game in a tie. Oh, 
Oh, well, I, I, you know, let's see how much damage we can get on this yes. gem out. Let's see just how far we can push this tink and see how much of a big hammer we can achieve by the end of the game. Yeah. Let's see how many cards we can get in hand. I think that's the fun part about these decks as well, is it's, uh, it's always fun to go for that last KO yes. where you're doing way more damage than you need to do, but it's really fun. Yeah. Yeah. I will be honest, like, if you know that you have the win in hand, I'm not as big a fan because it feels like you're essentially just like, you know, showing off to your opponent. In this instance, where there's nothing kind of like coming from anyway, then then yeah, sure, why not? It's, yeah. it's just a bit of fun. Exactly. <laughs> Honestly, I'm I, I, I'm happy with that because yeah. it, it's just a fun thing to see how far the deck yeah. can go. Yeah, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm not one for the BM, basically. No, <laughs> but to display how strong the deck can be. Yeah, that's true. I like this because mm. we haven't seen it before. This is something new to the stream, yeah. and I like being able to see exactly how far this deck can be pushed. What kind of numbers can it hit? What KOs could we be taking in theory against Pokemon that have maybe larger HP totals than a Chen Pao deck? Yeah, yeah, because obviously Chen Pao, the maximum HP is this 230 on Iron Hand, so yeah. you know, it's totally fine. But uh, if you're going up against a Charizard, a little bit tougher. Mm, and maybe even a Charizard with a cape, very <laughs> tough. Cool, yeah. <laughs> I, that, that, that seems more like impossible, but that it seems like it would be very, very hard to get there. But here it is. <laughs> seems like a stretch. I think that's nine energy. I think that's nine cards in hand, which would be 270. That's, uh, oh, guess in currently that Simone has. I think so. Okay. Well, it's about to be a bit less because it looks like we're seeing a. Uh, yeah. Oh, I know. Multi conviction. So yeah, this, could, yeah, so this could actually get there, you know. Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, uh, Multi, it's free extra cards because you play it and then you discard a card and then draw five. Yeah. So, uh, so, how many, how many we got? is that? Oh my gosh. No! No! Fail! Slower! <laughs> <laughs> No, no, oh my there goodness. It is. Okay, anyone in chat, if you managed to count that, please tell me how much damage was that? That was crazy! <laughs> but congratulations! <sighs> so, Arta, taking 